This week in the field, it's a gear show. I'm going to talk about a couple of new pieces of equipment I've been using. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In The Field. So today is a gear themed show. Uh, there's a couple of pieces of gear I've added to my bag recently. Well, it's more appropriate to say they're hanging off of my bag as opposed to in the bag. I'll get there in a second. But I, before I do, I wanna get your questions. Uh, I wanna get your photo questions. You got any type of question about photography, I wanna hear from you. It's, uh, I can't tell you how valuable those questions are. They make me think about my photography, so I'm going to get better. Hopefully, my answers are going to give you something to help with your photography. You get better. Everybody gets better. That's the whole point. And so please, send your questions. With that, let's get to the first piece of gear. First piece of gear is a new tripod. So I've got this small Photo Air tripod. It's uh, kind of the middle tier of their Air series. I think it's called the Road Trip, Photo Air Road Trip heard a bunch of people in my podcasting world talking about this thing. And uh, you may be going, well, Scott, why? Why another tripod? I shoot with a really right stuff tripod and I love it, right? It's, the, it's rock solid. It's stable. Nice, nice fat ball head. Why another tripod? Well, I got this for a specific reason. Uh, and I did put it to the test uh, recently in a, in a field trip beyond the intended use that I have for it. Let me show you a little bit of that footage and I'll come back and talk about some of the things I like about the tripod and some of the things I'd like to see improved. So I'm set up with the polarizer on so I can cut through the glare and see those pebbles and rocks underneath the water's surface. Set up at uh, f16, I want to get some depth. And uh, for those that have seen my channel for a while, you'll see I'm using a different tripod today. I'm trying out a, uh, a lighter weight travel tripod from MiPhoto, uh, mainly because I'm going to be using it on the road extensively in the next few days. All right, so as you saw there, I had this set up doing a beach shoot like I normally would, not in heavy water. Uh, it's not the type of tripod for that. So why in the first place did I get this thing? Really for travel. And not even that I don't take my big tripod with me. But when I'm traveling with my family or I'm going to be out all day uh, carrying uh, a 9 or 10 pound tripod, it starts to weigh on you. I've done that and at the end of the day, my arms are sore. And particularly with, uh, with traveling, like when I'm traveling with my family, uh, I'm going to be on a holiday with my family uh, as I record this and get ready to go. I want something small and this is very light. I think this, if this weighs a pound or a pound and a half, nothing at all. You know, I take two legs hanging in a pocket on the side of my bag. And I'm good to go all day. Now, um, you saw in the footage there, I had this uh, set up on the beach, but I wouldn't use it for that. Uh, I would use this for lightweight things. Obviously, it's very small, really like that. And a couple of features that are interesting about the tripod. First is the, the leg mechanism. So the way this works, and I'll try to do this without hitting the microphone, is I do about a 180 twist. Right, and now I can extend the entire leg mechanism. I'm sure that's loud on this mic, to wherever I need it to be, and then another full 180, and now the whole thing's locked in place. That's kind of interesting. It took me a little bit to get used to, but uh, that's uh, a benefit of this tripod. It's kind of easy to do a full twist and take the whole thing out and be done, and I can lock it into place with a single, you know, a single lock you know, uh, mechanism as opposed to multiple segments. So that's kind of neat. Um, the other thing that I reason I got this, push this all the way down, is this center column. Now, center columns we have like a love-hate relationship with. This one you kind of need it because it's a small tripod. But uh, so the center column's here. It's fully extended right now. It also has a, uh, a twist mechanism. So if I lock down the panning head and I do that same 180 thing, I get another extension out of it. Now, why is that cool? Well, this center column actually detaches. There's, if you can see that here, a little piece on the bottom. If I unscrew that all the way, center column comes out. It's got a remote and it comes with an iPhone attachment. So I can attach an iPhone to the top of this. This becomes a self-contained selfie stick. Now, I'm not a big selfie guy, but where I've really enjoyed having something like that is on family vacations. You have this, it's nice, it's steady, it's sturdy. You can get quick photos of the entire family. Uh, and you know nobody asks anybody to take photos of themselves anymore. 
So all those things together, that's why I got this. Now, something that I would like them to improve on is the the sturdiness of locking these, you know, full twist extension and connect it back in. That could be a little smoother, especially for the center column. It took me quite a bit of time to get used to the panning needs to be really ratcheted down and then you twist and bring it out. The problem is obviously this is locked down, but I can still twist the top head and that's, you know, so I can get that extra telescoping from the center column. That's not as desirable when you've got a bigger camera body on it, like a DSLR or my A7R. Those are heavier cameras and I can still have some camera movement in that. For lighter weight things, I totally get it. So I'd like to see Mifoto do a little more with that uh, that top column piece here. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the tripod, and it's going to be great for full days of traveling where I want the flexibility of having a tripod handy, or if I'm traveling with a group of people, we have you know a built-in selfie stick for quick group photos. Now, the other piece of gear I've been using, and I had to kind of bulk up for this, and it's honestly a little uncomfortable in an office setting, but is this a Peak Design Capture Pro. It's uh, really just a plate that you can affix to any type of strap that you have, whether it's a bandolier, in that case, it's a, it's a backpack, but it gives you a mounting plate for another camera. So it comes with you know, a little mounting plate here, and so I can snap that in, right? And now that's not going anywhere. There's even a twist here where I can lock the mechanism. So this is completely locked in, and uh, it's, it's very sturdy. When I'm ready to shoot, I can undo this little twist here and push on it and take this thing out. And so I like to use this for a second body, a second camera, because usually if I'm uh, you know, walking through a forest or I'm you know, standing around in the ocean and I've got my tripod set up doing my main shoot, I'd like to be able to do something else, take some different shots, but I might not be able to put down my pack or at least not put down my pack safely. It's nice to have this thing just hanging there at the ready. Uh, there's a couple of things that uh, are, at least for the camera I'm using it, are a little problematic, but I'm gonna undo this bag before I come back and talk about this so I can get a little more comfortable. So the first thing about it is the clip itself. Uh, it's, it's pretty wide, but I could see, and I felt a little bit, not much, but a little bit of, if you're wearing it all day long, it might start to press into your body and hurt a little bit, uh, just because it is a you know, uh, not the back of a, a strap that's been designed to give you padding. You're kind of squashing that padding down. Uh, it did fit on the backpack I have. The, there's two pieces that come completely apart and you can screw them together if necessary. I had to do that for the thicker uh, bag strap that's on my Mindshift bag. But uh, overall, then once I got that on there, it's fine. It's, it's very stable. It doesn't slide around. And there's uh, plenty of tightening nuts and so forth to make the clip tighter or looser, how much it's gripping onto the strap itself, tighter or looser, and that little turn you know, key thing where you press down to release the mechanism, you can lock that into place so you don't accidentally press down and unlock it. Now, um, the other thing that's nice, let's talk about a nice thing, is the mounting clip that comes with it. It's Arca Swiss compatible. So once you pop it off of your, your, your capture clip, if you wanted to mount on a tripod, you can. That's great. Negative is at least with, this is an A6000 body. I haven't tried this with other bodies. This is really my secondary body. I can't take the LCD articulating screen and pull it out. Uh, let me grab my Allen wrench here. I'm gonna do maybe a quarter twist, and then that's enough where I could get this out. But when I have, you know, it's a little bit loose. I can't, I can't tolerate that. As soon as I tighten it down, it's just enough where I can't put the LCD all the way back in. I mean, I can kind of force it and I'm kind of pushing a little bit harder than I would like to. And it's close, not quite there. So that's kind of a negative. I prefer to keep the LCD flat and in there so it's not gonna catch anything while it's hanging here. And for the most part, since it's a secondary camera, it's usually the, I see something interesting, I wanna take it off the clip quickly, take a photo, and then put it back in. It's not too much of a problem because I'm usually using the EVF to compose and take the photo. But that's, um, it would be nicer 
if I would have the flexibility of being able to take the screen out. Because there are times where I take the camera out and I want to shoot something low, but I don't want to get low. I'd rather rotate the screen out and look down at the screen and have the camera, you know, holding the camera at my knees or something. I can't do that without starting to monkey with the clip. And I just don't do that when I'm walking around the field. That's just one too many moving parts and I'd rather not loosen something up if I don't have to. So uh, overall, I'm very happy with the Capture Pro from Peak Design. I think it runs, I think maybe 70, 80 bucks. Uh, and if you're looking for a nice way to securely hang something on a pack system, have a look at that product. So as a, a tip of the week for this show, I really don't know. Maybe it's um, don't be afraid to try new gear. I, I'm trying these things out, especially, you know, coming from a, like the tripod world, coming from what I'm using to, you know, a very small, lightweight mini tripod. Uh, that is not a, a natural direction for me to go, especially as a landscape shooter, but it has its place, right? It's a tool that serves a certain area of photography. So don't be uh, afraid to try out a piece of gear. And also don't be afraid to say, look, this piece of gear isn't for me. And you try it, you don't like it, and you send it back to the company it came from. That's okay too. Right? If it solves a problem for you or it addresses a need for you, then go for it. And it doesn't matter if it's not something you use for every situation. Um, I guess my, I temper this with, it shouldn't be something that you only use you know, once a year. You probably then don't need to purchase the piece of gear. But if you're gonna use it several times a year, or uh, especially like that capture clip, I'm gonna be using that all the time. To me, that's a, that one's a no-brainer. The Mi Photo, I might use that in the field sometimes, and I'll definitely use it in the studio for other work too. Oh, that's going to do it for this week in the field. That one kind of got long. It feels like it's going to be a long video, but uh, hopefully it's been enjoyable and I didn't ramble on too much. Well, if you've got questions again, please hit me up through my website, comments on the video below, however you'd like to uh, get a hold of me. I'd like to hear from you. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting. I shoot with a really right stuff struff really right struff tell you how much they are valuable and i'm rambling here let's try this one more time I'll say